you have any injuries, if you're not feeling well, if something hurts, then just be very mindful of your own body. I'd say the same thing to you guys in my physical classes as well. Be very gentle with yourselves. No one knows your body um, like you. So if something doesn't feel right, pull yourself out, have a drink of water, have a rest. Rejoin us when you feel like you want to. Do as much or as little of the flow as you like. You don't have to do it all. We're just gonna do a, a vinyasa class tonight, just a full body flow get into all those nooks and crannies in the body, loosen ourselves out, stretch ourselves out, all of that good stuff. Um, and if you are pregnant, you're very welcome to take the flow. Just make sure you've got cushion to pop underneath your head and your shoulders. Make sure you don't take any twists through the waist because it restricts the airflow to the fetus. And just making sure that you don't take anything lying on your belly if you're past the first trimester. Other than that, I think that we are all good. Bring yourself on to your mat into a seated position. So take a nice seated position, just give yourself a little wiggle around on your mat, shift your bum, get rid of any little static bits of energy that are just building up that you want to kind of be rid of before we start the flow. Make sure that you've got enough space around you to do the flow that you're not going to be crashing into walls or windows and then bring yourself into a nice seated position palms on your knees facing up towards the sky close your eyes lengthen the spine and take a nice deep inhale through the nose expand your abdomen send all of that air down towards the bottom of your lungs filling them like a glass all the way to the top And when you reach the top, reverse the breath, draw the navel in towards the spine. And again, inhale. And exhale. Start to tune out all outside distractions, thoughts and worries. Anything that's not serving you in this moment, pushing it to one side, maybe take an imaginary broom and start to sweep the mind clear of all clutter, any wandering thoughts. And as you inhale, start to lengthen that spine, feel the breath wash through you, washing through your mind, through your body. Exhale. And if you're feeling anxious or stressed, start to use that breath to calm you down. Inhale, we lengthen, drop the shoulders. Exhale. Feel yourself grounding into the mat, feel the arms become heavy, pulling you down. And breathe, tuning into that slow and steady rise and fall. Visualizing your lungs as a glass filling and empty. Maybe you pause for a second at the top, so you're always teaching your lungs to use their full capacity. Let's check in with those tension points. Make sure you're dropping those shoulders down away from the ears, drawing the shoulder blades down towards the mat. And as you do, creating space between the shoulders and the ears for your neck to grow long. Sit up taller, but feel those sit bones grounded and even. And start to soften the jaw. Make sure the back teeth aren't touching. Tongue drawn down away from the roof of the mouth. Start to soften your facial features. No frowning, no tension. And notice the difference when you just check in with those three points, dropping the shoulders, soften the jaw, soften the face. And gently draw your chin towards your shoulder, doesn't matter which one. 
and start to roll the head from side to side, from shoulder to shoulder. If you want to take it all the way around into a full circle, then please do. Sometimes some people don't like full circle, so feel free to just take it from shoulder to shoulder. Deep roll through your shoulders, draw them up towards your ears, down your spine, circling them nice and deep. Up to your ears, down your spine. Just gently mobilizing and waking up your body. Take your right hand, bring it behind you like a secondary spine. We're going to start with a little twist. Bring your left hand to the outside of the right knee. Gaze over that right shoulder, lift up nice and tall, push that knee away and twist. So twists compress our organs, release all toxins. When we release the twist, fresh blood flows through our body. Gently bring yourself back to centre, take that left hand behind. Nice juicy twist on the left hand side, bring your right hand to the outside of the left knee. Gaze over that left shoulder. Gently push against that right knee and looking all the way behind you, feel that twist. Gently bring yourself back to centre. Bring your arms up above your head, interlace the fingers, pushing up. Dropping the shoulders down, neck long. Deep stretch here and take your right hand to your left wrist and start to hinge over towards the right, giving a little pull on that left wrist. Keep those bum cheeks planted on the mat and feel that stretch down the left side of the body. Keep that neck long. Gentle pull here. Gently back to centre, switch hands, right hand, left hand to right wrist. Start to pull across to the left hand side. From hip to fingertip on the right side, feel that deep stretch, try and keep that top half of the body aligned. Really nice, gently bring yourself back to centre, drop those hands and bring yourself into an all fours position on your mat, step your joints, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Body in a nice straight line, keeping that back nice and flat. Take a deep breath, inhale, pushing down through your palms, your knees and the tops of your feet. And exhale. And really engaging that core, pushing down into the mat as though you're about to take off. And if you want to, you can tuck those toes under and just lift the knees slightly off the mat, engaging the core and pushing back into your heels. And breathe, keep that back nice and flat. Breathe here, inhale, and exhale. And inhale, keep that core engaged, keep that breath flowing, and breathe. One more time. Gently drop the knees, drop your navel to the floor, hollow out the lower back, opening your heart center gaze up towards the sky, cow and then arching the back like a scared cat, crown the head towards the floor. Inhale. Mobilizing your spine with your cat cow. And as always, if you want to freestyle this movement, please feel free. Get as weird as you like. Maybe you want to get into your hips. Give yourself a wiggle, sit back on your heels, stretch those fingers, your neck, your shoulders, your arms, whatever needs a little stretch. Now feel free to just do whatever feels good for you. Whichever part of your body you think needs a little wake up. And feel free to get as weird as you like your practicing at home. That is one of the wonderful things about it. You can really, really do whatever you want. Give yourself that nice little wiggly movement. Keep that breath flowing. Get into all the nooks and crannies of your body, your shoulders, your hips, your spine. Getting your wiggle on. Take a nice deep breath. Really make sure you're stretching all those bits. Maybe you want to stretch your wrists, so you want to turn your hands around. 
bit of an acquired test taste, but a really good one if you're ever working on arm balances. And then gently bring yourself back into your all fours position. Keeping that spine nice and sturdy and straight, take your right leg out behind you in a nice straight line. And then what you're gonna do is with that right leg, you're gonna draw a kind of semicircle and bring it around so it's in line with your left knee. Start to walk your hands back, bring the foot flat, and roll up into your gate pose, bringing the arms wide and then up above your head, dropping those shoulders down. Make sure those hips are stacked on top, underneath your shoulders. Lovely. Take a nice deep breath here. Start to reach that right hand down towards your right calf. Left arm up and in line with your ear. So you're making a kind of C shape with your body. Try and keep that body nice and aligned. Imagine that you've been popped in a toaster. Reaching with those fingers to reach the other side of the room. Really pushing that left hip out. Take a nice deep breath here. Bring that left hand down in line with your left knee, your right arm up. So your shoulders are on top of each other in a nice straight line. If you're happy here in your gate pose, by all means stay here. If you want to take a balance, we bring our right leg out, right arm over your head. So your body is in a nice straight line. And if you want to go further still, bend the right knee, take hold of the right foot, kick that right foot into your right hand and give yourself a nice little shoulder stretch and balance. Getting into your spine and your shoulder, whichever version you're in. Just give me three breaths here. Three. Lovely. Two. And one. And gently drop that right leg down, back into your gate pose, opening those arms. And you're going to lift that left foot and bring yourself into your side plank. If this isn't in your practice, by all means, stay in your gate pose. If it is and you want to go further still, you can float that top leg. You can also take hold of your big toe if you want to take a balance, or you can even try and reach that left leg out and take hold of that big toe and take a balance that way. Whichever version you're in, give me five, four, three, two, and one. Bring yourself into a plank position on your mat. Drop those knees back into your all fours position and just give yourself a little wiggle here. Wiggle it out. Really, really nice. Well done. And bring yourself back into that all fours position with a nice straight back. Let's drop that left leg out behind us in a nice straight line. And this time, taking that semicircle with the left foot and bringing it all the way around so it's in line with your right knee. Start to walk the hands back. Peeling up through the spine, take the arms wide, reach them up above your head. Make sure those hips are under shoulders, body aligned. Drop those shoulders down, arms in line with your ears. Gorgeous, well done. Start to bring that left hand down towards the thigh or the calf. And reach that right arm over your head. Pushing that right hip out to the side. Your body is kind of like a little moon shape. Sink deep into that stretch, really nice. Inhale. Try and keep the knee in line with your leg. So try not to bring it behind you. You want to bring it nice and in line. So you're keeping those hips nice and neutral. Take a nice deep inhale, bring that right arm up and over, bringing it onto the mat in line with the right knee. Left arm is going to come up. Your arms are in a nice straight line, shoulders stacked on top of each other in your gate pose. Really nice, hips stacked. If you want, you can lift your left leg, reach your left arm out in front, so you want a straight line from finger to toe. And if you want to go deeper still, take that left leg behind you. Take hold of the left foot with the left hand and just kick that left foot into the left hand so you get a stretch through your shoulder and the spine. Really nice, deep breath. Working on that balance and also giving yourself a stretch, whichever version you're in, give me three. Two, really nice, and one, and gently bring yourself back to your gate pose if you're not there already. If you want to, you can stay here. If you want to, you can bring both legs straight, come into your side plank. Stack those hips on top of each other. Options, side plank, you can float that top leg if you want to. You can try and take hold 
of your big toe and take a balance that way. Or you can even try and bring the bottom leg out, take hold of that big toe and stretch that leg out. Whichever version you're in, give me five, four, three, two, and one. Back into your plank position. Take a nice deep breath here. And you're gonna push back into your first downward dog of the class. So push those sit bones up towards the sky. Pushing down through your palms. So if you want to, you could soften the knees here. And I actually encourage soft knees and down dog because I think if you try and straight the legs, it sometimes takes away from what you're actually supposed to be doing in the stretch. Down dog is like our powerhouse. It really stretches and strengthens pretty much the whole body, our arches, our calves, our hamstrings, our spines, our shoulders, our arms, our, our hands. It's all getting a nice workout here. So we're going to push into the outside of our palms and our little fingers. Maybe very gently soften the elbows so they come out to the side very slightly, which makes it easier to rotate the shoulders outwards, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Draw that navel in towards your spine and maybe soften your knees so that you can get that nice straight line from the tailbone all the way down to the hands. And your head should be between your arms, gazing between your legs or at your belly button. Feet hip width apart. Drawing those heels down towards the mat, but if they don't reach the mat, don't worry. Take a nice deep breath here. And exhale. Inhale, start to raise up and your heels feel that pull through the hamstrings and the calves. And lower, really good one if you've got tight hamstrings and calves. And lift. And come well done. And lift. Really feeling yourself stretching the back of your legs and lower. And lift. And lower. Give me one more here. Lift. Really, really indulge. And lower. Take a nice deep inhale and bring yourself into your plank position. Body in a nice straight line. Wrist under shoulders. Tuck that bum in. Avoid sticking your bum up or dipping the spine. Everything tight. So this is really good for your core. Take a nice deep breath and we're going to give ourselves five little rocks on our back feet. On our back feet, on our feet. We're going to rock forward and back and four and back. Keep that core engaged. Three and back. Two and back. Well done. And one and back. Start to drop those knees down towards the mat. They're just hovering them and as you do so, send that bum back towards the heels and then up into your downward dog. Let's do that movement again. Forward into your plank. Drop the knees. Send the bum back. Bum up towards the sky. Downward dog. And again, waving into your high plank. Hovering the knees above the mat. And as you do, send the bum towards the heels. And then up towards the sky. Down dog. Let's go for three. Plank. Knees. Bum and hips to the sky. Plank. Knees. Bum to heels, then hips to the sky. And last one, plank, knees, bum and hips. Really nice. Start to walk those feet out there. Take a deep breath and just drop down onto your forearms. If this isn't in your practice, by all means, stay in your down dog. Bring yourself in to your dolphin if you can. So you're on your forearms. Palms about hip width apart and nice and parallel. And if you want to walk those feet in even closer, then by all means do. We're going to get into our shoulders and our core. So you can either hold your dolphin or you can take five dolphin kisses where we're going to come forward. Kiss the mat and back. Let's go. And five and back. Four and back. Well done. Three and back. Two and back. And one, and back, drop the knees, heels together, knees apart, and just take your child's pose. And exhale, and someone said to me last week that when they come into child's pose, it makes them really tired. So if that is the case, you can use another resting pose, or you can just hold the pose that we were doing. Gently bring yourself back up onto your knees and your forearms. So you're kind of in an all fours position on your forearms. Reach that right arm out in front. And you're going to gaze underneath the right arm. Take that left arm, post it underneath the right arm, threading it through. Trying to gaze underneath your right armpit and roll onto that left shoulder. 
So we're giving our shoulders a little stretch out here, inhale. And exhale, reaching with those left fingers, gazing down the left fingertips, rolling onto that left shoulder as much as possible. Breathing. And exhale. One more time. Gently bring yourself back to center, reach that left arm out. Take the right hand and post it underneath the left arm. Gazing underneath your left arm now and rolling onto that right shoulder. Almost trying to pull yourself underneath your left arm, reaching those right fingers up in here. And exhale. Really feel those shoulders spreading in here. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Give me one more breath. Gently bring yourself back to center. Pull yourself all the way forward into your sphinx pose on the mat. Palms parallel. So you look like one of those little statues in Egypt. Push those hip bones down into the mat. Point the toes to engage your legs. So your knees are lifting off the mat, which, which will feel that engagement in your glutes, your bums, your hamstrings, and your lower back. You want to stretch through the abdomen and the chest. Send the shoulders down the spine and lengthen your neck here. Take a nice deep breath. And if you want to, you can stay in Sphinx. If you want to get a little bit deeper, you can come into your Cobra. So you're going to bring those palms a little further back and get deeper into that spinal stretch. Remembering to keep those legs engaged, so keep those toes pointed so the knees hover. And if you want to add a little bit of movement, we're going to inhale, peel ourselves forward. Exhale, we lift. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And then take a nice deep breath, pushing up into your down, into your upward facing dog, making sure the tops of the feet are down on the mat, tuck those toes under, and push into your downward facing. Take a nice deep breath. Send that right leg up towards the sky into your three-legged dog. And if you want to hit, you can bend the right knee, open the hip, gaze underneath your right armpit, flex that right foot. And if you want to go further still, feel free to walk that right leg the whole way over into your wild thing pose. Reaching back with that right arm, lifting those hips up towards the sky. Give yourself a nice deep breath here. Give me five, wherever you are, four, three, Two and one wild things back to your three legged dog, and everyone in your three legged dog, we're going to send that right knee all the way forward to meet the right wrist. Plant that right foot, bring yourself into a high lunge, arms up in line with your ears, hips underneath your shoulders, knee above your ankle. Make sure that you're not leaning forward, you want to make sure those hips and, and the pelvis are underneath the shoulders. Inhale, sit into that front knee bend. Really, really good for knees. Really good for leg strength. Really nice. Take a deep breath, turn that left foot out. Bring the arms in line with the shoulders, warrior two. Tuck that tailbone under. I'm just changing sides, because as usual, I'm on the wrong side. Gaze down those front fingertips. Make sure those arms stay aligned, chest nice and open. Start to lean forward into the right hand. Turn the right palm upwards and bring yourself back, peaceful warrior, reverse warrior, sending the left arm down the back of the left leg, right arm up. And if you'd like to take a half bind here, take your left hand, bring it all the way around to touch that right thigh. And breathing here, inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And start to bring yourself back into your warrior two. Turn those palms outwards and pivot into your triangle pose. Make sure those shoulders are stacked on top of each other so your arms are in a nice straight line. So you want to avoid kind of this thing where your arms are all out of sync. Arms in a nice straight line. And if you're happy here, lovely. If you want to go a little bit, um, if that's a little bit much, you can bring your right forearm onto your right thigh. 
left arm is going to come up and over extended right angle make sure that chest stays open you're not just kind of slumping like you're hanging out at the pub you want a nice engagement here opening that chest straight line from the foot to the from the foot to the fingers and if you want to go a little further right arm underneath right leg and bring yourself into a bind as well make sure you're not collapsing keep that chest open as you bind holding here lovely wherever you are really nice breathe into it and everybody now start to straight that front leg if you're in a bind just letting go and everyone bringing those arms nice and wide taking yourself into your triangle pose your extended triangle gazing up at your extended arm so triangle what we want to aim for here is that your hips are nice and aligned. So if your hand doesn't make it all the way down to the ankle, that's fine. It can be anywhere on your leg, as long as your shoulders are stacked. So see how my arms are in a nice straight line. So if you're here and it just isn't working for you, just bring yourself up a little bit. And to make sure that your hips are aligned, you can take your left hand into the small of your back, gently push your hips until you feel them almost click into alignment. You can also do this up against a wall, if you want to feel like you're completely aligned, like you're in a toaster, gaze up at that extended arm. Take a nice deep breath. Gently bring yourself back to standing. Turn both feet facing straight ahead. Bring your finger and thumb onto your hips and start to hinge forward. You're going to bring yourself forward into a wide leg forward fold. Hinging at the hips, nice flat back. Bring your hands down. Start to walk your hands in line with your feet and draw the crown of the head towards the mat. Wide leg forward fold to get a nice deep hamstring stretch. Really good for lengthening your spine so we'll release any lower back pain that you might be holding. And if you do have tripod headstand and you would like to take it now, by all means do. Gently bringing yourself closer to the mat. Really nice. Take a nice deep breath. And if you're in headstand, gently bring yourself back down. Everyone else feeling that stretch. Give me one more breath here. And gently start to walk those hands back into a flat back, keeping yourself in that wide leg forward fold. You're going to take your right hand in the middle of your legs, so in the center of your body, and open your chest to the left as you reach that left arm up towards the sky, taking your star pose. So your arms on top of each other, shoulders aligned, and they're coming in the middle of your body. So if you've got a mirror, or you can see on your camera, this is what you want to look like. Gazing up at that extended arm. Make sure the arms stay nice and straight. You want to try not to bring them forward or back. Really nice, everybody. Take a deep inhale here. Gently drop that left arm down and walk the hands around the front of the mat. Bring both hands on either side of that front foot. Plant that right foot and drop that back knee, bring yourself into a low lunge. I'm just going to switch sides again. Bring yourself into your low lunge. Take your arms up in line with your ears. Sinking into that front knee bend, really nice. And feel that stretch, those hips opening, really good one for runners. So if you are running a lot at the moment, this is a really good one. Take a nice deep breath. Give yourself a little back bend here as well if you want to. Inhale, gently drop both hands down on either side of that front foot. Straight the front leg, bend the back leg. Flex that right foot, deep hamstring stretch here. Inhale, exhale, start to fold deeper. Another really good one if you're running or if you just want a nice juicy hamstring stretch. Try and keep that spine nice and flat as you peel yourself forward. Inhale. Exhale, try and walk the hands even further forward. Inhale, drop that right foot back down, bend the front knee. Feel free to stay here or you can take your monkey twist. Take your left hand to the outside of your mat, so you're taking the mat out of the equation. Right hand, so your bent knee arm is going to come out in front of you. And then we're going to circle that right arm all the way around behind us and gaze at that hand. 
And if you want to, you can lift that back foot and kick the left foot into your right hand. Really, really nice, everyone. Well done. And feel yourself sinking into that stretch. Well done. Really nice. Give me one more breath here. Dropping that back foot. Bring both hands down on either side of that front foot. Tuck that left toe under, lift. And step back into your plank position. And now you have options here. You can even push straight back up into your downward facing dog. Or join me in a little vinyasa. Tuck those elbows in. Come down through your chaturanga. Push forward up with facing dog. And push back. Down with facing. Well done. Really nice. Let's take the other side. Left leg is going to come all the way up towards the sky. Three-legged dog. And if you're happy here, you can stay here or you can bend that left knee. Gaze underneath the left armpit. Flex that left foot. Open the hips. Make sure the weight is evenly distributed between the hands. And if you want to, you can walk the whole way over into your wild thing pose. Take those hips nice and high. Reaching back with that left arm. Nice bend in the back. And breathe. Really nice, give me five, wherever you are, four, three, two, and one. Gently, wild things, bring yourself back, three-legged dog. Stand that left knee all the way forward, planting that left foot underneath your left knee. Bring yourself into your high, high lunge. Arms in line with your ears, make sure those hips are under your shoulders so you're trying not to lean forward. You wanna make sure that that Body is nice and aligned, working on your balance. So one side might feel a little bit wobbly. Take a deep breath, turn that right foot out, arms in line with your ears, warrior two. Gaze down those front fingertips. Tuck that tailbone under, start to hinge forward, turn that left palm upwards. And then bring the right hand down the back of the right leg, peaceful warrior, or reverse warrior. Left arm over the top. If you want to take your half bind, bring that right arm all the way around to touch your left thigh. Sinking into that front knee bend. Well done. Really nice. Take one more deep breath here. Unravel the arms. Back to your warrior two. Turn the palms outwards and hinge forward into your triangle. Goes up at the extended arm. Make sure the shoulders are aligned. Happy here. You can stay here. If you want to bring your left forearm onto your left thigh and reach your right arm up and over into your extended side angle, then by all means do. Make sure that that chest stays open, straight line from fingers to foot. And if you want to take your bind, left arm underneath left leg, right arm over the top. Keep the chest nice and open. Really good, well done. Take a nice deep breath here. One more time. And wherever you are, we're gonna straighten the front leg, straightening both legs. Open your arms out to the side into your triangle. Gazing up at your extended arm, shoulders stacked on top of each other, remembering it doesn't matter where your hand is as long as the body stays aligned. If you wanna bring your right hand into the small of your back, just push yourself into alignment then, please do. And hold here, gaze up at your extended arm if you can. And breathe. Really nice, well done. And then gently bring yourself back up to standing. Turn both feet to face straight ahead. Fingers and thumbs on your hips. We're gonna to start to hinge at the hips like a Barbie doll folding forward, wide leg forward fold. Bringing yourself down towards the mat, trying to keep that spine straight. Hands down, bring them in line with your feet, trying to draw the crown of the head towards the floor. Take your wide leg forward fold, stretching through the backs of our legs, Lengthening our spines. Inhale. And exhale. Really nice, everyone. Give me one more deep breath here. Get as nice and deep as you can. And then gently straightening that spine, bringing the arms nice and straight. You're gonna bring that left hand in the center of your body, in between both legs. Open the chest to the right, reach that right arm up. Star pose now opening out to the right. 
Really nice. Try and keep those arms nice and straight, stacked on top of each other. Gazing up at your extended arm. Well done, everyone. Looking good. Looking really nice. Hold here, lovely. Give me five, four, keep breathing, three, two, and one. Bring that right hand down. Start to walk both hands around on either side of that front foot, your left foot. Bend that left knee, drop the back right leg into your low lunge, your runner's lunge, really good for if you are running, opening up your hips, stretching the hamstrings. Bring those arms up in line with your ears, drop those shoulders down, sink into those hips. Really nice. If you want to give yourself a back bend here, by all means do. Gently come forward, bring both hands down on either side of that front foot, bend the back knee, straight that front leg, flexing that left foot, inhale, we lengthen, exhale, start to fold deeper, drawing the torso onto the thigh. Getting nice and deep here. And starting to inch the hands forward with every breath. Try and keep that spine straight if you can. Nice juicy stretch through the hamstring. Well done, looking good. That was my knee, so if you do hear your knee clicking, you're not alone. Just gently bring yourself even deeper. Well done, give me one more breath here. Nice deep hamstring stretch. Plant that left foot, bring yourself back into your low lunge. Hands on either side of that front foot. So again, you can stay here or you can take your monkey twist. So we're going to take our right hand out to the side of our mat. Bring your left arm out in front. Well done. So your bent knee arm out in front. Circle the left arm behind you. And if you want to, you can pick up that right foot with your left hand and kick the right foot into your left hand. Really nice. And breathe. Feel those hips opening. If you've got a bad knee, probably don't pick up that back foot unless you've got a cushion underneath it. Give me one more deep breath here. Gently drop that back foot. Bring both hands down on either side of that front foot. Tuck the right toe under, lifting that knee and step back into your plank position. And again, if you'd like to push straight up into your downward dog, by all means do. Otherwise, you can join me. We're going to tuck our elbows in, come down through Chaturanga, push forward, upward facing, and push back. Downward facing dog, walking the feet out here. Take a slight bend in the knees, gaze straight ahead, step forward, or jump through to a seated position on your mats. Really nice. And bringing the, the right leg out, you're going to take that left foot in to your right thigh. So you're bending the left leg, this is what it's going to look like. Flex that right foot. Take a nice deep breath, raise those arms up towards the sky, keeping the shoulders down and start to hinge forward through the hips. Healing the torso onto the thigh, trying to reach for the calf, the ankle or the foot, whatever works for you. And stretching out that right hamstring. And getting deeper with every inhale, we lengthen with every exhale, we fold deeper. And gently start to walk yourself back into that upright position. And switch left leg out, flexing that left foot. Right foot comes into your left thigh. Reaching the arms up in line with your ears and starting to hinge forward doing the torso onto the thigh. Really nice. Trying to keep the spine as flat as possible. And if you don't get very far, don't worry. As long as the spine stays flat and you can feel that pull through your hamstring, then you are doing just fine. The aim is to come down with a flat back torso to thigh, nose to knee. Breathing deeply into the stretch. Give me one more breath here. 
and then gently start to walk those hands back into an upright position. Bring your feet flat, bent knees, arms in line with your legs and gently start to peel yourself back down onto the mat. One vertebra at a time. All the way down onto your mat, keeping your feet and knees parallel like training tracks, knees bent, feet drawn, heels drawn in towards your bums. Glue your spine down onto the mat so that your pelvis has a very gentle tilt. Head, neck, shoulders and spine in a nice straight line. Arms down by your side. Take a deep inhale here. As you exhale, start to peel those hips up towards the sky. Keeping those knees and feet parallel. Try not to bow them out to the side. And you'll see why. If you want to walk your shoulders together and interlink your fingers underneath your back, by all means do. And you'll notice that if you keep your feet and knees parallel, your feet planted, you'll get that nice engagement in your glutes and, that, and your hamstrings. Lifting those hips. Perfect opportunity here to engage your pelvic floor as well. Always engage on the exhale. So you're countering the diaphragm. Keep those hips nice and high. This is a really good pose for anxiety, stress, insomnia. Well done, give me one more deep breath. Take your arms out on either side, very gently rolling down through the spine. Drawing your knees in towards your chest and gently rocking from side to side to massage your spine on the mat. Bring your arms out on either side, take your legs into a tabletop position, put both knees over to the left and gaze to the right to give yourself a twist. And then gently drop the knees over to the right and gaze to the left. Bring yourself back to center. Straighten out your legs, straighten your arms above your head, full body stretch. Reach from one side of the room to the other, point the fingers, point the toes, put tension in every single part of your body, including your face. Give yourself double chins, beady eyes, scrunched up face, the ugliest face you've ever made in your life. Pull those shoulders up towards your ears. Imagine you're being pulled. They want to add inches onto your body. There should be so much tension in your body shaking. And while you're here, throw all your mental tension in as well. Everything that's been annoying you and pissing you off. You're going to reach so hard. You're going to feel so much tension. We're going to build up a big tension bomb and just let it go. Keep stretching, keep stretching. Like you can't get away. Give me five, four, three, two, And one, let go, bring your arms down by your side, feet forward, open, heart facing up. Let's take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And if you want to grab blankets, jumpers, cushions, socks, a drink of water, dim your lights, do whatever you need to do, please do so now. As usual, you can take Shavasana however you would like but I have to recommend lying on your back. It is probably my absolute favorite place to take Shavasana. It's an, a lovely little treat. So take your comfortable position. And bring yourself down onto your mat, closing your eyes, palms open, feet falling open. And take a nice deep inhale through the nose, expand your abdomen and send all of your air down towards the bottom of your lungs. Filling them like a glass all the way to the top. And when you reach the top, exhale, reverse the breath, draw the navel in towards the spine. Start to bring yourself back to where you were at the beginning of the class. 
no thoughts, no worries. Take that imaginary broom and sweep the mind clear. Clear of clutter, clear of wandering thoughts and worries. Breathing into your body to cleanse it, deep inhale, feel that air rushing through you. And exhale. Check in with those tension points. Shoulders down, jaw unlocked. Tongue away from the roof of the mouth and back teeth not touching. Facial features soft and gentle, make sure that you're not frowning. Take your attention to your feet. Feel them fall open on the mat, each toe unraveling one by one. Ankles, calves, knees and thighs become lightweight. As so someone's taken the batteries out of you. All the way up to the base of your spine and feeling each vertebrae unravel one by one. All the way up to your shoulders and feeling those shoulders melt down away from the ears, drawing down your spine. Shoulders and ears separating to allow your neck to grow long. Jaw soft, facial features gentle, and head light and empty, free of worry. Arms lightweight at your side, palms opening up to the sky, each fingertip unraveling. Take your attention to your chest and your abdomen. Focusing in on that slow and steady rise and fall of your breath. And let's take this moment just for you, your time. Allowing yourself to let go of anything that is worrying you or stressing you out. Focusing only on that slow and steady rhythm, bringing your body and mind into a deeper sense of calm. Let it all go as you inhale. And exhale. And start to wiggle your fingers and your toes to draw awareness back into your body. Hug your knees in towards your chest and gently start to rock from side to side to release your spine on the mat. And bring yourself all the way over onto the side into a fetal position. And then gently bring yourself up to seated, palms on your knees. And you can keep your eyes closed if you want to, it's completely up to you. We're going to take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, let out a deep sigh. 
And exhale. And once more, inhale. Biggest sigh, let it all go. Draw your palms together at your heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me tonight. As always, an absolute delight. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Namaste. And as always, if you have any suggestions of things that you would like to practice, feel free to pop them in the comments either on Zoom or on Facebook and I will try if I can actually do them to complete all of you guys' suggestions. Yeah, okay.